For neutron detection, I'm using two methods this time. The Victorine model 488A, which is pictured in the, uh, the left. Then the bubble detector, uh, 41 bubble per mrem uh, um, dosimeter, which is pictured on the right. I would be using a second uh, bubble dosimeter, the 44, but it is, it's not fully cleared yet from the morning run where I got some pretty good results. And you can see the Victorine uh, every once in a while picking up a uh, background neutron and uh, need a little twitch right there. So I'll go over the rest of the hardware. All right, closest to us is the MKS Instruments 246C flow controller. Then right behind that is the Edwards EXT 70H uh, turbo molecular pump controller. Both are connected through sub D to respective components. That's the MKS mass flow controller uh, 2179. A, which has the positive shutoff valve, uh, which is being actuated right now with a uh, DeWalt, uh, DeWalt air compressor. EXT 70H turbo pump, backed by a Alcatel 2021i roughing pump rotary vein. few things to note. So first would be that the, the heat around the chamber gets pretty extreme during operation and as you can see the small rope type thing uh, right under the bubble detector that is a uh, Kevlar insulator to keep the bubble detector from uh, picking up any heat giving any false bubbles. Partially uh, reason for making this second, uh, second run would be that there were some uh, some strange results with the last uh, detection of neutrons with the 488A and I uh, I believe that's from electromagnetic interference from arcing with the chamber. Model 488A does detect neutrons just fine. I just am using this uh, bubble detector this time to back up the results. I believe from talking with the people at Bubble Technology Industries, one uh, out of a hundred neutrons that pass through the bubble detector is actually detected. We will just be able to know that neutrons are being produced and uh, we can see what's, uh, what's happening with the electronic detector. For power source, I'm using Glassman 40,000 volt, uh, 7.5 milliamp DC, negative polarity. I did have a voltage readout as well as a current readout for it. Uh, I did get fried from a short circuit, but um, I will just be putting it up to the local control to the max. I would have a view of the of the reactor during operation through the viewport. It's just that from these uh, from the previous runs, the tungsten has deposited onto the viewport in such a way that uh, you cannot really see anything unless the grid is getting to its red hot uh, point. So I will just be uh, detecting with the bubble detector, and we will go from here. By the way, uh, the bubble detector has been in detecting position for probably around 20 minutes. There's been uh, no bubbles from background, so we should be getting a pretty clean result. And the reason for uh, the turbo and the roughing pump to take so long pumping this uh, small chamber down is not that there is uh, many leaks, but rather they're kind of a choke point for the vacuum right there that has really low conductance and just takes a while to um, just diffuse uh, everything through there so that is the reason for the slight weight. On the bubble detector what may look like uh, bubbles right now I will bring it a little bit closer just to show but they're actually burns from previous runs how warm it got so alright so as you can see there are no bubbles just, uh, just a few superficial burn marks on there and uh, it still detects just fine. Got a reading on it a couple minutes ago, so here we go.
Okay, three more, just then, all simultaneously. Another one. Alright, we do have results in the bubble detector. Alright, it's hard to see, but you can see the bubbles in there, right there. I oh, will be able to get a close up of this. Um, in fact, I'll throw the macro on right now and we'll count them. Alright, back again. There we go with the close up of this. There are a ton of bubbles in there. Um, to me, they do seem. Uh, kind of centralized in this top upper band, which is interesting because that's the exact area that was right above northernmost point of the grid or the main reaction area, which is in, uh, inside the chamber. And all these bubbles happened uh, within maybe a couple minutes of themselves, so uh, it's very obvious that these are not uh, background background readings, and also. Um, the Victorine was picking up the uh, readings the, that time too, so granted some of the Victorine readings might have been electromagnetic interference, but this does prove that neutrons were being produced from that chamber, and uh, thank you for watching, have a good day.